How are you guys all doing tonight? I'm Joseph from MLB Baseball Blogs. Guys, the MLB Draft is coming up tomorrow night, and I'm really excited on what's going on in baseball with the baseball prospects and the high school prospects going into this year's draft. I mean, you guys, you have guys like Garrett Cole, Anthony Randon, Danny Holson, Dylan Bundy, Trevor Bauer, all those guys. I mean, I'm really excited. I mean, the, the hottest player I'm going to have to say on my book is going to have to be Garrett Cole. I mean, everybody says this kid has a lot of potential. That is true. So, guys, I'm going to read you my prime nine picks in this year's MLB draft. If you guys want to read scouting reports, make sure to go check out my website, baseballprospectinsider.blogspot.com. I'm not going to, I'm going to save you guys the trouble on listening for about 45 minutes to 15 minutes or whatever. Um, just reading prospect uh, scouting reports. If you want to read about it, make sure to go check out my website, Baseball Prospect Insider, for all the latest ba prospect news, baseball, minor league stuff, all this other good stuff in prospects and minor leagues. So make sure to go check that out. So guys, let's stop with the chit chat right now and let's go straight into this mock draft of the 2011 MLB Draft. With the first pick in the MLB Draft, Bud Siegel will be announcing that the Pittsburgh Pirates should be getting Garrett Cole, right-handed pitcher, out of UCLA. I mean, Garrett Cole coming into this Pittsburgh club, I'm going to have a lot of hype around this kid. I've been having a lot of hype around this guy for the past three or four months. I mean, this kid has just been terrific for UCLA. He didn't have the hottest outing in his last outing with the uh, UCLA Bruins, but he's still going to be the number one draft pick in this year's draft. I'm going to be so excited to watch this kid pitch. I'm most likely going to report it in his first MLB debut and minor league debut, I should say. So let's see what this kid can pull off in the Pittsburgh Pirates minor league system. Next up, guys, with the second round pick in the MLB draft, the Seattle Mariners will be drafting Anthony Rendon, third baseman out of Rice. Some of you guys are saying, how are the Mariners pulling this off so far this season? They're in second place in the West, in the AL West. I think this team's going to look for hitting right now. I mean, Anthony Rendon has just been terrific so far in, at the third base position at Rice. Um, he had a shoulder injury last season, and... I think I'm going to compare this kid to either Justin Ackley or Justin Smoke. I think he's going to be a middle guy. He's going to be in the middle of the of batting order. So if he was to make his debut within the next two years, I can see that because this kid has a lot of potential going into the draft and going into this minor league system with the Seattle Mariners. Expect this kid to come up in the majors within the next couple of years. Next up, guys, we have... A surprising team, the Arizona Diamondbacks. Again, a lot of these player teams are very surprising me right now. Next up, we have the Diamondbacks, the third round pick of the draft. The team has two picks in the first nine picks of the draft. They have the third round pick and the seventh round pick. The Diamondbacks right now are looking for pitching right now. They sent down Barry Enright and they sent down Armando Galarraga. They're going with guys like Josh Colomander, Joe Saunders, Ian Kennedy. Yeah, Ian, those guys are doing pretty decent. I mean... Josh Colomander coming out of nowhere. Ian Kennedy was picking up where we left off last year. The Diamondbacks are going to go back to pitching. I think they're going to draft Danny Holson, left-handed pitcher out of Virginia. Next, we have the Baltimore Orioles. I had, if you guys were checking out our 30 Clubs 30 recaps, I had the Baltimore Orioles as one of the most improved teams in baseball. And they're not showing it right now. I mean, Mark Reynolds acquirement. They got Vladimir Guerrero. I mean, who else? I mean, those are some great pickups, even though Vladdy's getting way older now. But their pitching has not been too hot. They they have Jeremy Guthrie. I mean, they sent down Chris Tillman. Some of the guys on their pitching rotation by opening day are already down in the minors. They're going with a nice, hot prospect, Zach Britton, right now. I really enjoy watching that kid pitch. So I think that the Baltimore Orioles will be taking a right-handed pitcher, Dylan Bundy, out of Owasso High School in Kansas City. I have a lot of hype around this kid. I mean, I saw some film, so I want to see how well Dylan will do with the Baltimore Orioles. Next up, we have one of the hottest prospect farm systems in Major League Baseball, the Kansas City Royals. No doubt about it. They're, they have the hottest farm system. I mean, they acquired Lorenzo Cain, Jeremy Jeffries, the Brewers' top prospects in the Zach Greinke deal, which sent Uneski Bentcourt and Greinke to the Milwaukee Brewers. But the Brewers got to had to give up their number one and number two prospect, Jeremy Jeffries, and also Lorenzo Cain. But I'm going to go with the right-handed pitcher this time. I'm going to say the Kansas City Royals 
will draft Jer Trevor Bauer, right-handed pitcher out of UCLA. Next up, guys, we have the Washington Nationals. This team, not too hot about going into this draft. They had the draft, the first-round draft pick last year and drafting Bryce Harper. This year, they're going to go to the outfield, and my prediction, I think they're going to go with Bubba Starling, outfielder out of Gardner at Edgerton. Don't know much about this kid. I haven't read a lot of scouting reports on him, but I think Bubba Starling is going to be one of the top six draft picks. He's projected to be in the first five, in the first five picks, but that's all I've been reading about him. But I think he's going to go in the, in the last four picks of the, of the prime nine. So I have him with the Nationals. Next up, again, we've got the Arizona Diamondbacks. I think the Diamondbacks are still going to go back to their rotation and try to strengthen their pitching rotation with their prospects. And I think they're going to draft Archie Bradley, right-handed pitcher out of Broken Arrow High School. I don't know much about him. I've been reading a lot about these uh, right-handed pitchers who are being drafted. And a lot of mock drafts have Archie Bradley within the first last three picks of the first prime nine picks. So I think the Diamondbacks are going to draft Archie Bradley out of Broken Arrow High School. We're down to the last two teams. We have, at number eight, the Cleveland Indians, one of the most surprising teams in baseball right now. I don't know how they're doing it. I mean, this team last year was already in last place. They're going hot right now. Justin Masterson's been good. Carlos Santana's been hitting. As Drew Cabrera, thank God he's not injured. I mean, Michael Brantley. I mean, this team's just surprised me a whole lot. I mean, I'm going to have to go with their infield. I think they're going to draft an infielder player and... Why not draft Francisco Lind Lindor? I think I'm pronouncing his name right. Shortstop at a Mount Verde Academy in Florida. I mean, this kid, he's been doing great in Mount Verde Academy. I've been reading a lot of prospect stuff on him. Make sure to go check out the full prospect reports on my website, baseballprospectinternet.blogspot.com. I'm reading exactly off my website, so make sure to go check that out. So, going back to Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor, this kid been doing terrific with Mount Verde Academy. I have a lot of hype that the Indians will probably bring this kid up within the first four years of being drafted. I mean, it's going to take time for him to be more in the major league and going back from high school to the major league, skipping out on college, but I think it's going to be either four or maybe a little bit higher. I mean, I don't know for sure on what the Cleveland Indians want to do, but I think this kid is going to bring his stuff to the Cleveland Indians farm system. And guys, to wrap up this mock draft, I'm going to have to go with the Chicago Cubs. they got the ninth pick in the draft. I'm going to have to go with Matt Barnes, right-handed pitcher out of University of Connecticut. I don't know that much about him. I have to be sure. I gonna have to, I've been reading a lot of mock drafts lately saying that Matt Barnes was going to be in the first four or maybe in the first five picks in the draft. I don't think so. I think the prime nine pick of this club of this of the uh, mock draft I just did, the Cubs will take Matt Barnes. For some notable players that are not going to be drafted with my prime nine, Matthew Perk. I had a lot of hype going around this kid. I enjoyed watching him in um, TCU. I think he's going to be drafted either by the Tampa Bay Rays and the later draft picks, or possibly the Los Angeles Dodgers. So, guys, what is your prime nine draft picks going into the 2011 MLB draft? These are the prime nine teams with the prime nine picks. I'm Justin. I'll talk to you guys later. Watch the MLB draft tomorrow night on MLB Network. And I think you can watch it on ESPN. I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy your day and have a great week.